Hey, it's JP Brapper. In this segment of the Snowmobile Friendliness Series, brought to you by the world's best snowmobile destination, we're going to talk eats. Yeah, with bacon. Like how do you make your restaurant the best experience possible for snowmobilers? So fire up the grill, mash those potatoes, and bake those pies. This is about to get delicious. It's a known fact that sledders travel with the bare necessities. Some with just a credit card, change of socks, and underwear. That's it. They don't have room to pack a hibachi and cold cuts. And riders need to fuel their temples and tummies at least three times a day. Eating is also a good excuse to stop, get off the sled, socialize, and just take a break from squeezing those ponies. It's simple to make riders happy at your eating establishment. They like big portions, over-the-top friendly staff, lots of fluids, and ridiculous desserts. If they like you, they tip big. Tell their friends and lay down that plastic to pay for it all. You may have to adjust your winter hours to accommodate sledders. If you consider their cadence of travel, they leave after breakfast, stop for lunch, and usually back to the hotel before dark. They do like to linger and socialize, but if you look after them, the reward's usually worth it. Snowmobiles are sort of like children. Their parents like to always keep an eye on them and brag about their accomplishments. Allowing your customers to park their sleds where they can see them can go a long way. If that's not available, a signed designated fence area usually makes them feel just as special. Monitoring it with a security camera will get your rock star status. Sledders have more gear than a house league hockey team. As soon as they walk into your place, they want to know where to hang it up to dry, so it's out of the way. Shelving for helmets is always a good idea as they take up so much room. Little touches like heated racks are also appreciated. Or even several ducts in the floor to keep the air moving and dry out the smelly balaclavas. Keep in mind, that some people prefer to take their expensive gear with them to their tables. So some hooks and shelves near the seating area are still required. If you've got it, use your signage to invite riders into your restaurant. Put up a seasonal sign or adapt your existing message during the peak sled season. Trusty subtitle assistant, activate. Have fun with it. If you see people taking pictures, you know you've nailed it. Can your staff speak snowmobile? If a rider walks in and says, Hey bud, I rocked some big KMs today and I'm stoked to rip tomorrow. Can you or your staff recommend a place to get some 93 Octane and good chow? Learn the lingo and understand what's around you. You'll be a Slatter's best friend in no time. This is a no-brainer. All sledders want to immediately communicate with their spouse, who is stuck at home. You know, to recap the day, minute by minute. Do you leave snow paths for sledders to travel on your property? Scraping down a bare pavement is sweet for the rubber tire set. But snow pass for sleds will show you really care. Make sure you have lots of good old paper trail maps. Riders love spreading them out over dinner, telling lies, and planning the next day's route. Contact your local club and they'll gladly drop some off. Not again. Do 
you support your local snowmobile club. Snowmobiling is big business, and trails don't happen by themselves. These fine folks volunteer their time to maintain the trails, and supporting them when they ask for donations or to buy trail signage, or even catering a meal at one of their meetings can go a long way. Want to take it a step further? Take a day to go flood ice crossings or cut some firewood for the warm-up shacks. Every little bit helps. Make sure to use words like snowmobile friendly or welcome sledders on your website, travel networks, and search engine listings. When a crew is planning eat stops from their smartphone at breakfast, you want to jump out at them faster than a Yamaha SRX. Show them what Northern Ontario hospitality is all about. Or better yet, add the world's best snowmobile destination stamp of approval and make it easy on everyone. Consider selling pre-assembled to-go Muffpot trailside meals and snacks. Riders heat things like sausage and potatoes, hot dogs, and even toast a sandwich. Really, anything goes. Get creative and muff pot on. And just like that, we're done. Easy peasy, lemon pie, squeezy. So many ideas. Use your imagination to make an impression to have every sled guest sharing their experience over your wonderful Wi-Fi. Together, we could truly make this the world's best snowmobile destination. Please check out the other videos in this series that cover accommodations, communities, repair shops, and gas stations. Wrap on, people!